Good morning, Joe here from uh, Cool Metal, and uh, this morning uh, we're going to go through the uh, uh, assembly of the uh, 481 um, Cool Metal uh, rack setup uh, with the stock Victory bags. Um, we're going to do one side of the bike, of course the other side is uh, uh, the same, done the same way and in the same manner. And uh, you'll notice in the kit that you get your three pieces of rubber, you get your two spacers, uh, which your rack uh, is going to hook to. You get your bolts, your spacers, and your locking mechanism. And the uh, first thing you want to do when you get the kit is on the rubber, the, the rubber applies in these three places here. And the rubber is to keep the back side of the uh, luggage rack off of your, uh, your chrome fender rail. And uh, so that's double back tape, so you want to apply those. Uh, you can put your spacer in, the rubber in the piece, pull the tape off, and that'll locate those for you. Um, and once you have that on, uh, then we're ready to uh, start the install process. Um, the, the way that these install is on your, on your, your Victory um, bag rack. Uh, you have these spacers coming out that go into the fender rail and so what you want to do is you take and you put the, the, the R spacer over that spacer and then you have the uh, two, two spacers that we provide in the two 8mm uh, socket head cap screws and the long, you'll notice you have a long spacer and a short spacer. The long spacer goes to the back of the bike on the inside and the short spacer goes to the front of the bike on the inside and then we'll uh, come over here and we'll show you how that sets up on the motorcycle okay, okay one other thing we need to do before we uh, uh, put the uh, kit and everything back on the bike is to take um, a rat tail file and uh, Right here at the end of the, the rear mounting location is with your rat tail file taken, uh, make a half moon, uh, a half moon um, uh, slot with your rat tail file and to enable you to get a uh, Allen wrench in the locking mechanism uh, for an 8 millimeter. And it has to be just about a half moon and uh, you'll see why when you go to put it on your bike so you can tighten this down the the tightening and the uh, locking feature into place okay now it's time to uh, finish installing uh, the 481 uh, with the fender rail and the victory uh, bag uh, bracket onto the bike uh, getting it ready to accept the uh, the luggage rack so I have all the pieces here uh, in the 481 I've got my uh, fender strut ready. I've got the uh, protective rubber pieces in place. Uh, once again, like I said, this keeps the uh, the uh, luggage rack uh, rail off of your fender rail. So you want to put the spacers in the front and rear. You want to put your your wide uh, spacer on the inside of the rear adapter and your thin one in the front one and just take a quick peek and make sure they're turned so the holes line up so when you attach it and you're going to take your victory bag bracket you're going to slide it into the adapter pieces like so and then you're going to take and uh, put it up put it up okay now we're going to get it and uh, fasten it up to the, uh, the rear fender set it in place and you can see the bolt sticking through so be careful with your paint and everything and hold it up into place get your wrench in get this first bolt lined up get it in there get it started a little bit do the same with the rear get the wrench in there get it in place get it started a little bit front one in a little bit more. Now that we have this uh, uh, fastened up and still in the loose stage, uh, we're going to take the other side of our rack. Um, like I said, I take mine apart into two pieces. Uh, I have this bag, bag and bracket over here a little bit loose. 
Uh, I've inserted my uh, rail on that side. This one is together, so now we're going to insert it on this side here. So we take and fit it up there, fit it up here, and, and uh, put it on. The next thing you're going to want to do is to take your locking feature. Now that you've got your rail in place on the bike, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to insert your locking feature. So that slides over the uh, the uh, adapter and you get your uh, eight millimeter locking bolt in there in place uh, as such. You can get your wrench on it and you can see now why your half moon comes into play. You want to get this on here, tighten it down. Once you have that snug down, then you want to take you want to tighten up your, your screws front and rear on the bike. And once you have them uh, snug down, uh, you're going to go back and you're going to install the four bolts on your top plate. Get all these bolts in. Put my last one in here. Now that we have all those in, take and just snug them all. And what you need to do is take your wrench and tighten up all your Tighten up all your bolts. Remember they torque to 15 to 18 foot-pounds of torque. Once again, you can see you need to slide your wrench in here to lock down your locking feature that keeps the rack in place. It can't come off then. Have everything here torqued down to your 15 to 18 foot-pounds of torque. Then you can go back the same on your four bolts over here. Tighten all these up. Once again, the same 15 to 18 foot pounds of torque. And boom, you're ready to go. And uh, uh, when we ride, uh, of course, uh, I put the tour pack up here uh, for my wife. It, it mounts right to these four slots, the Victory Tour Pack. It's adjustable back and forth for about an inch. Um, and uh, you can also run your, uh, your backrest uh, that bolts onto the pillon on the Mustang and the uh, Dual Tour from Corbin. It all fits on here. Um, and boom, you're ready to go.